If you feel like no matter what you do, you're not hitting the level that you want to achieve. You've been trying for years and you're just not getting there. It's because you give up too fast, too early, and you're too distracted. Building a business and being an entrepreneur, everything you do is about consistency. It's not about being on the verge of bankruptcy, hustling, 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 getting that amazing deal, and then taking the next six months and coasting. You see, you reward yourself for little bursts of energy, and then that reward is what slows you down and crushes you and kills you. And I'm not saying you have to work 80 hours a week. I'm not saying that you can't reward yourself and taste that thing that you're working towards, but you can't let those little breaks or those little rewards kill your momentum, slow you down or hold you back. You try these activities thinking, I'm gonna try this, and then uh, it's hard, it's harder than I thought it was gonna be. Run into a roadblock, someone said no, and you move on to the next thing. You hire that person, and then they don't work out because you didn't train them right, you didn't really hire them right, you haven't given them the processes, and you're not a good manager, so you fire them, and you think, let's try again, and then you try that person, you go, you know what, these people are terrible. You have a sample pool of two people, and you think there's no one out there who can work with you or for you. There are so many parts of our business where we try with all of the earnest and all of the braveness and all of the confidence that it's gonna work, and then guess what? We run into a roadblock, and we stop, we give up, we get distracted. That is why, after all of these months and after all of these years, you're not getting what you want. You have to have a laser focus. You have to be so determined and so uh, drawn in to just trying and trying despite the fact that things aren't working, trying new things time and time again until you crack it or you finally say, I'm not gonna be doing this anymore at all. But this halfway point in the middle, this wastes years. Do you have years to waste? How many people do you know have gone on a diet and seen eight pounds loss and then got over cocky, overconfident, ate a little too much, Suddenly they gain some weight and they think dieting doesn't work. Of course we know that going on the right diet works, the right diet for you. Of course we know that exercise works. It's about the consistency, it's about not giving up, it's about pushing through. I have never considered myself a healthy person up until about eight months ago when you know I was able to lose, I mean over the last year and a half, I've, I've lost almost 50 pounds. I have never considered myself an athlete or someone who's fit or someone who's attractive or any of those things. And so I find myself on the treadmill, running at my gym, and so I'm like halfway through this workout, I hate it. I don't wanna be there. I don't want anything to do with this workout. As I'm jogging, I start to think, do my ankles hurt? No. My legs, do they hurt? No. I look down at my heart rate monitor, I'm, I'm not in any kind of red zone or crazy amount and I can breathe. There is nothing physical to keep me from running and running and running and running at this pace. I just hate it. My brain is screaming at me to stop because I hate it so much. But when I realize there's nothing wrong with my legs, there's nothing wrong with my breathing, I'm perfectly capable of continuing to do this, I just don't like it, I just kept running. I kept running until I hit my time. And then I did the next one, they did the next one. And that's what growing your business is about. There is nothing actually holding you back from doing the things that you need to do. It's all up here. You'll get through, you like hard things. Everyone faces challenges. Some people push through and we look up to them and other people give up and we call them average or ordinary. Your brain is screaming at you that you don't have the money or the time or the resources to do what you wanna do. You don't have the schooling, you don't have the connections, you don't have what you need. You have everything that you need right in front of you to face the challenges that you're facing today. If you just spend a little bit of time figuring that out, asking yourself the right questions, your brain will come up with the answers for you. And so there are principles that say when you are ready to give up, you actually have so much more that you can do if you just stop listening to your brain and you just started going. You know, Winston Churchill has this quote that goes something like this. He said, being successful is just moving from failure to failure while maintaining your enthusiasm. I love that. The idea that you are just going to continue going from thing to thing to thing. Of course we want to succeed and of course we want to win, but we're going to face these failure, 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 but we're going to maintain our enthusiasm. That's what it's all about. Consistency, knowing that you love and are capable of doing hard things and pushing so much further when your brain tells you to stop, you keep going. Making bold choices, being confident in those choices and playing them all the way out at the end without getting distracted by shiny things or moving on. 
and then knowing that you are gonna face failures and you're gonna move from failure to failure, but being able to maintain your optimism and your positivity and everything that makes you a hopeful person, maintaining that through the failures. You do those things and you will literally find yourself hitting new levels every single day, every single month, and you will get that thing you've been working years for. It helps when you do research. If sales and marketing and scaling your business is important to you, be sure to subscribe to my channel or check out this video right over here.